Hi, this is Sudeep and I welcome you back to this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with StatPro. In the last session, we had discussed about how modeling of supports is important for the stability of structure. We learned that it is not only important to position the supports correctly, but it's also important to know what type of supports we need to use in a particular situation. If you have not seen that session, please access that session by clicking on the link that is appearing on the screen right now. Now you may remember that we had discussed about a couple of stable configurations of structures along with the supports in the last session. So we will see how we can model the supports to achieve those stable configurations in the StatPro environment today. But before we go forward, please do take a moment to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and join us in this wonderful journey of learning structure analysis with StatPro. Now what we see on the screen is the first table configuration that we had discussed in the last session of a two node single beam system. The left node is assigned a pin support where it would restrain the translational motion of the node in the plane whereas the right node has been assigned a roller support which would allow translational motion in the x direction but it won't allow the translational motion in the y direction and both of the nodes would be allowed rotation. So let us now see how we can model this configuration in the StatPro environment. So let us try and model the pin roller system from the scratch. So we need to have a two node single beam system that we had discussed. So let us define the two nodes. Let us say that the first node at, is at 000, the second node is 500. And then let us model member or a beam that would connect both the nodes. So we click on the add beam and we join the two nodes. Now the next step uh, you may remember is to define the properties of the of this beam. So let us say that we want to assign a steel section to this particular member. So we go to the Indian database and um, we assign a ISMB125 uh, section to the to the member. So now we have defined now press shift K to display the nodes, shift N to display the node numbers, and shift B to display the beam number. Now we can see that it's a single member two node system. Beam number one or member number one has been created between nodes one and two. The next thing that we want to now do is to assign supports to this system. Now remember that the left, so before we do that, uh, let us view this member from the front. Now you remember that we had the left support as pin support. So what we do is we click, as soon as we click on the supports option here, we will have the support whole structure box coming up. So let us click on the create button. Now we need to assign a pinned support to node number one because node number one has been assigned a pin support or the left node, which is node number one here has been assigned a pin support in the stable configuration that we had shown. So click on pinned and click on the add button. So support two is the pin support that we have added to the supports whole structure box. Now we use the use cursor to assign option and we click on the assign button and click on node number one to assign the pin support there. Now we need to assign a roller support to the node number two. So we go back to the support whole structures box and click on the create button again. Now to create a roller support, you need to create a fixed but 
support a support that is fixed but it allows the rotation uh, in the plane and it allows the translation in the x direction so we release both fx and mz to create the roller support so, so we have used the fixed butt support and we have specified releases in the fx direction and the and the mz direction now we click on the add button so it has been assigned support 3 now this support 3 is the fixed butt support that we have just assigned now we can use the use cursor to assign option to assign it to this particular node so we have assigned a fixed butt support fixed but fx mz support on the right side of this beam or the right node which is node number two now this fixed but support would represent a roller support now if you are wondering how a fixed but support would represent a roller support you can refer to this session the link of which is appearing on the screen right now where i have discussed in details how a roller support is simulated with the fixed butt support. So what we now see on the screen is our first stable configuration. One thing that we need to do, of course, is um, we need to go into the text editor and change the structure type from stat space to stat plane. This being done, we can just go down and see how the support option has been defined so we can see that node number one has a pin support node number two has a fixed but support with releases specified in fx and mz thus it would be representative of the roller support now we can go out of the text editor and thus we have defined the first stable configuration that we had just shown you now let us discuss the next table configuration uh, that we had discussed in the last session, which was uh, where the left node had a fixed uh, support assigned to it and the right node didn't have any support assigned to it. And we saw how this would result in a stable configuration. Now, what is the meaning of the fixed support for on the left node? Well, assigning a fixed support to the left node would mean that the left node would not have any freedom to move translationally, either in the X or in the Y direction, or it would not have the, uh, the freedom to rotate about the Z axis in the plane. Now let us see how we can model this table configuration in Start Pro. So in this case, we already have the beam model. Now uh, I did not assign the properties, so let us quickly go into the say section database and assign an Indian uh, ISMB 125 section to the whole B member and now let us go into the support specifications now remember uh, let us switch on the node points by pressing shift K we display the node numbers by pressing shift plus N and we display the beam numbers by pressing shift plus B now we know that the left node here is the node number one and right node here is node number two now we are assigning a fixed support to node number one and we are not assigning any support to node number two uh, and we know how it lent a stable configuration to the structure so let us go to the support whole structure box we had for that you need to click on the supports option here and once support whole structure box appears, click on the create button. And by default, the fixed condition would be highlighted. The fixed support would be highlighted. So we click on the add button. And support two that has been assigned is the fixed support. So we just ensure that use cursor to assign option is active and click on the button and go and assign a fixed support <coughs> uh, on the left node and left 
and leave the right node to be free, node number two to be free. Now, uh, we had explained that in Stat Pro, the fixed support is represented as this small box. Now, this is a stable configuration that we see on the screen, and this is called uh, a cantilever beam. Now, a little work remains. That is, we go into the text editor or the command file editor and we change the stat space to stat plane. Remember that we are modeling only planar structures in this series. So we wanted to ensure that we have uh, changed the structure type from space to plane. The next thing that we want also look into the text editor is the support specification and we see that node number one has been assigned a fixed support. That's it. So we have modeled the stable configuration too in this particular model. Now what we see on the screen is a modification of the first stable configuration where we had a pin support on the left, a left node and a roller support on the right node. But in this case, we have introduced one redundant reaction, if you remember, by removing the roller from the right node and introducing a pin node instead. So we have also seen how it lends a degree of stability uh, of to that particular structure f uh, with respect to the fixed roller system, which was a statically determinate system. Now, how do we model this configuration in Stat Pro? Let us see. So in order to model this system, uh, we take up uh, the model that we had created, the pin roller model that we had created, go to the supports and now, okay, let us view this from the front so that it looks like a planar structure. Now, what we can do is uh, we have to remove the roller support from node number two. So how do we do that? Okay, what we can do is we can click on this no support option here, as you can see, S1, you'd always see the first option as being no support and then whatever you specify would come up next. So in this case, the no support S1 had come up by default and the support two was the pin support that we had defined on the right side of the node and support three was the fixed but support representing the roller system that we had defined and which we had assigned on the right side of the node. Now. We have to remove this roller support to assign a pin support in node number two, right? So basically, that's where we first make the use of this no support option. So we select the no support option, take use cursor to assign, click on the assign button and go. You see that the mouse has turned into a cross shape. So if we click on node number two, the roller support would be deleted from there. Okay, now what we can do is we can click back on the support number two, which was the pin support and take our mouse to node number two and assign the pin support. Now, this is a simply supported beam, pin pin beam, which has a degree of redundancy, which is one. And this is the final modified version where we had introduced a roller support to the cantilever beam. So this structure again now is redundant to degree one. So let us see how we can model this system in Stat Pro. So we have taken up the fixed only uh, system that we had modeled, which is a cantilever beam that we have modeled, where the right node, node number two, wasn't having any support, and we intend to assign a roller support to that particular node. So how do we do that? Again, we go to this create option, go to this fixed but option, release FX and MZ, and click on add. And so S3 is the roller support that we have defined. So we are using the use cursor to assign, to assign the roller support to node number two. Now it's very important to understand that since it's a roller support, it's we have defined the roller in one particular plane as only. So it is important to remember to go in the stat command file and change the stat space to stat plane. Now, 
we have already done that here but if you are doing it newly by default it would be stat space so remember to change it to stat plane and um, of course like we have the fixed support for node number one and fixed but fxmz support for node number two representing a roller support so uh, that's all for this particular stable configuration so I hope you have enjoyed the session today. If you have, please do hit the like button so that the content can reach out to more students who is looking out for a similar content. I hope to see you in the next session next week. Till then, bye-bye.